for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese as always. Got a passing play for you guys today that home runs just about every single defense in the game. I put out a run scheme yesterday, and I told you guys if you wanted to see a super explosive pass play, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. And that's what today's video is going to be. I will have a link in the description for uh, the run plays. And if you're watching the run plays that over there, I'll have a link in the description for this video. That's typically how I try to tie these together. Or I'll have a little video popping up here in the top right corner just to let you guys know where you can find that. But ultimately, the run plays are just as good as the pass plays this whole offense is really meant to be used together you're supposed to pound the rock and then basically bring that user down and then th you know throw a touchdown over the top that's typically how i like to run my offense and that's going to be exactly what i show you guys to do today the formation itself is the single back deuce close and the play i'm going to show today is the pax post cross this formation was one of the meta formations when it comes to the run plays, so make sure you check that out. Link in the description below. And if you guys want to see more stuff out of the Saints playbook or out of this formation, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. There's really two pass plays I'm going to show today, the PA X post cross and the PA boot slide. Ultimately, this formation is a very heavy run formation uh, with a few pass plays you can sprinkle in, but this one here is going to be the best one out of all of them. So let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with cover two like we always do and work our way back. As always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOEH.com. If you're going to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, check them out. Link in the description below and your discount code MONEY to get 3% off. It's guaranteed to always be the cheapest coins on the market. So one of the best things about this formation, and I went over it in the run play video yesterday, was that you don't have any real tells. The formation's even. Your opponent's never going to know which way the play is going. So even if they try to user one of these routes, which are going to be the explosive route they might not even guess which one's the right one because there's really two different routes to two different things the b route's going to be a really good check down against just about any defense but ultimately we're going to hit a one play touchdown against just about everything 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 uh, with a very similar setup we just have to put one of these tight ends on either a streak or a fade depending on what we're looking at now here we have a cover two so i have to put the delay fade on the a route that's pretty much all i have to do you're going to want to make sure that you have one of your slowest tight ends out here as we get a very Ooh. bad pass but you can see he got over the top of the safety let's go and let's do that again you can flip this play by the way and it's there's no tell involved so if i want to go ahead like i typically want my slower tight end running this delay fade but if i just flip the entire formation since it's even there's no real animation nothing moves nothing changes so you can easily flip this play which is one of the cool things about it but ultimately this b route here i mean sammy Watkins is not as fast as hollywood brown but you can see how you can flip that play up if he's if your opponent's basically you know staying to one side trying to wait for that receiver or wait for that route you just flip the play and you can have the exact same effect you definitely want your fastest receiver running this route and you want your slowest tight end running that delay fade uh, that's going to be one of the things that makes this play work but like i said it works regardless even with sammy Watkins, who's not the you know he's a fast enough receiver but you can see i mean if i just want to flip the play and run it the opposite way it's there's no talent ball it's an easy one play touchdown this delay fade by the way has been totally broken since the november patch they tried to address it they just made it worse uh but also Ultimately, there's still ways to get around it. They just make it so that the delay fades. You don't have the option when to release it. It releases on its own, but it still drops back long enough and holds back long enough that it brings safeties down on its side. And that's really how I'm going to use it. As you can see, this safety here reacts to that lower route until this receiver crosses the center of the field. That's the only point in time which he turns, and at that point, it's too late. Also works against cover two, but before we go back in, like I said, I'm going to remove these guys. You can put fullbacks, you can put tackles, you can put any number of slow players at these spots because ultimately you just want them to be a lot slower to pull safeties down. So let's go and let's pick that play again on the defensive side. We're just gonna go with cover two man this time. When it comes to cover two man, you're gonna to wanna to drop these safeties back. So putting the wire out on the streak makes the most sense. And then the running back itself, um, I just want to put on a pass block. So I'm going to slide my protection because I'm going to roll in the direction of the A route, or at least try. And then you can see here, once again, we have, because that safety is pulled back, and I get passed, once again, not, I mean, the, the, the blocking wasn't really there. To me, the double delay fades is really the issue when it comes to this play um, against cover two because they really mess up the blocking. But, you know, if you have a mobile quarterback, you can basically just roll out and, you know, make the play that way, which is pretty much depending on. Doing it from the pocket's a little bit harder. And then next up, we'll do cover three, although we'll switch it up. We'll go to nickel. We'll give the defense a little bit of an advantage here. 
So against a defense like cover three, it's really better just to put the B route on a five yard out and streak the Y route. Then I can slide my protection, I can roll in the direction, have an extra blocker. All these things are a better uh, setup as far as blocking, even if they're not as glitchy when it comes to uh, what I'm trying to do. But you can see, we get over the top of that cornerback, it's not as big of a window. The delay fade makes it a bigger window. But like I said, it's really up to you. The delay fades, the double delay fade, it really works well. I'll put my B route on the five yard out once again. Uh, it really works well, but like I said, it really hurts you as far as blocking. So it's like if you don't have a mobile quarterback, it's going to be a bigger issue anyway. And you can see, I mean, we still get past that. So it's really up to you. There's two different ways to do this. Against cover three, you have to be aware of where you run it from the hash mark as well. Same thing goes with cover four. Cover four, you have to run it from a certain hash mark too. So let's pick that. Against cover three, you have to run it from the hash mark to the open side of the field. But against cover four, you have to run to the short side. Once again, we're just going to put that Y route on a streak. Although realistically, you don't even have to do that. Against cover four, this play here pretty much one plays it without any adjustments. And you can see how it's getting right past the safety there uh, because of that uh, that deep crossing route there's a couple different things you can do I mean you can make this even better if you put him on a uh, on a drag I think that that'll bring that safety down even more uh, but you can see here now it's gonna be more of an outside play but you can see he still kind of runs right past them so there's a couple different ways you could do this play as well but you have to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field but ultimately this can be a cover for one play touchdown with no adjustment so I think the drag is best that definitely brings it down right here once again now we have Matthew lit up just bullet past lead past them and you can see he's just running right through uh, his zone areas he really can't catch up he can't turn around and make play and then again cover four quarters which is cover four match cover four quarters has to be the most unique for whatever reason they they follow this route they lead this route like if i run this like this you're gonna see how the safety of this cornerback both of them really just lead that receiver i mean that's something that had to be patched but ultimately you can change this anyway by just simply motioning this receiver out and then putting both tight ends on comeback routes on 10 yard comeback routes although i accidentally did it with the b route too but that's fine it doesn't really matter those 10 yard comeback routes will get the job done and then you'll see once again this uh, cornerback will fall behind the receiver. So that was clearly patched, but you could easily break that. So that play home runs just about every single defense in the game, but I'm gonna give you guys a good counter play so you have something else, and that's gonna be the bench. So this is something that you can basically dink and dunk your opponent with. Let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're just gonna go random. Setup for this is real easy. Put the A route on a streak, put the Y route on a drag. That's all you gotta do. Your routes are pretty much gonna be the B route or the Y route. I don't even really have to worry about um, the other receivers you can see right here. I mean, we have the check down right here That's gonna be a man beater or a zone beater who should be opening. It's just about everything but hard flats uh, And then you also have I mean I can put the X route on a, on a 10 yard in too So I can get myself like another check down But I don't think I'm really gonna need that too much and then you can see right here That's a cover three He's gonna get outside of that any zone coverage that route's gonna get open It'll also be man coverage is a lot So this is your full setup here all you really have to do is go from the B route to the Y route to the X route. That's your read progression. See right here. I don't know what they were looking at. I don't know what that was, but it was either man coverage or cover quarters. He gets outside of it. Like I said, that route's going to get open against most things. And uh, like I said, he's got a smart route that 10 yard out. Here we go once again. Like I guess I'm trying to hold for that B route the entire time. See right there, another man coverage. It gets outside of it. It's got a bullet and pass lead away. Um, but like I said, that route or the Y route. But this setup will get open against just about any man or zone. So it's something you can run pretty much all game. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more out of this formation or more out of this playbook, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team. Where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.